Hi there, it's Karen from Health Food and More, out and about meeting plants in this beautiful wildflower meadow today. And this is um, Teasels, which um, has a long history of medicinal use in this country and elsewhere in the world. Now, Teasels gets its name from the Anglo-Saxon Tazun, which refers to its use for teasing cloth. And this plant has both medicinal usage and it has um, a use in cloth making as well. So they used to call, they used to use the, the heads of an old teasel to raise the nap in woolen outfits, etc., and woolen cloth just to try and lift it up once it had flattened down. So it was used as, I think it was called barbers and brushes, it was called because of this um, use in cloth making. Now it's, as I say, has a long history of use in medicine. And when I was at herb school, we didn't learn about teasels because it just wasn't something that was in fashion to use. But Culpepper talks about using teasels as a blood purifier. He said it was a good blood cleanser and it could be used for treating liver problems and jaundice. Um, Dioscorides talks about using teasels, um, um, taking the, the root and bashing it down and using it in an ointment for treating cankers and sores and warts and fistulas, so externally it was used as a, a, a preparation to try and heal the skin. The, the Venus Basin, which is this bit here in the plant, was um, used cosmetically, so you'll get water gathering in that area, and that water was used um, on the face as a tonic, but particularly in the eyes, it was used as um, a refreshing tonic for eye health. So I mentioned that, um, we didn't learn about it in herb school, but actually herbalists are looking at this plant with great interest now because we're seeing a massive incre increase in Lyme disease. I think it's something that is becoming really endemic everywhere and people are starting to have real problems with it. Tick populations are up and the number of Lyme bearing ticks are on the increase. So there's a real interest in, in using herbal medicine as an adjunct to conventional medicine to try and deal with this condition. And it's thought with teasels that the way it works is it will actually help to pull this lime spirochet out of the tissue. So if you can imagine the, the lime spirochet is like a corkscrew bacteria that screws itself in and it hides from antibiotics. It gets really deep into the tissue. You get a biofilm over the top and the, back, the antibiotics can't get in there and treat it. So teasels is used alongside antibiotics and um, biofilm busters such as chaga or coleus and you would use the three together because the teasels will go in there and pull the spirochet out you take the biofilm uh, busters to actually clear the biofilm over, away and then the antibiotics can get in there and actually do the job so it's one that there's a lot an awful lot of interest in now because antibiotics alone are not enough to try and treat Lyme disease you actually need to try and get those bacteria out there and exposed so you can actually treat them effectively and I think it's one that you're going to hear more of because as Lyme disease goes up we're going to see more and more people using herbal medicine to try and tackle this condition because it's really challenging to treat with mainstream medicine alone.